today's food for thought comes from the third chapter of Lamentations, verse 37 and 38, which reads, Who is he who speaks and it comes to pass when the Lord has not commanded it? Is it not from the mouth of the Most High that woe and well-being proceed? Now, if you do not know, then I want you to know today that the book of Lamentations was written by Jeremiah after the southern kingdom of Judea fell to the Babylonians. Jeremiah, when he wrote this letter, he was very grieved in his soul about the fall of the people from God's grace. And you can imagine that Jeremiah, he wasn't the only one that was grieved in his heart. All of us, we all have those days where we are left scratching our heads, we are left wondering about what is going on in our life. Jeremiah, he wrote that one must always learn to lean and trust in God's compassions because they fail not. They are new every morning. Sadly, many of us, we think ourselves to be higher than the Lord, don't we? Yes, we have free will. Yes, we have free choice over the things that, that we are able to do in our lives. But we must learn how to trust in God's plan. As Paul once said, all things that is good and bad, evil, all things work together for good to all of those who love the Lord. When we get ourselves out ahead of God, knocking down doors before God even opened up doors for us, we are doing ourselves a disservice. No matter how much some will not want to hear this be said, I'm going to say it to you today. You and I we must learn our place in all things. You and I, we were created by the Lord who reigns over all things. When we believe ourselves to be higher than the Most High, that is when we can expect to fall down. It happened to Satan, and it still happens today to all of those who are filled with pride. Let us learn to remain humble. Let us submit ourselves to the only one that can truly speak, and it will come to pass. I hope my thought for today has given you something to think about, and I hope that it will encourage you, that it will uplift you, and that it will motivate you as well. Be sure that you share this thought with someone somewhere, and if you haven't already done so, make sure that you're following this channel so that you can always receive my next Food for Thought.